Hey everyone, this is DJ Zyrex back at Pro Musicals Chennai and welcome back to my Tractor Basics tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you the other three types of cue points, which is load, grid, and loop. Let's turn the second cue point on deck A to a load cue point. Now, every time I load this track in Tractor, Tractor will cue the track to this cue point, saving me from the need to manually cue the track. Next up is a grid cue point which is always the first cue point on Tractor. A grid cue point is also the beat marker which sets the starting point for a beat grid after Tractor analyzes a track. This is a very special cue point which creates a regularly spaced grid of beat lines referring to the BPM of the song. This grid is very important as Tractor uses these grids to sync tracks. We'll talk about beat grids and sync in the next video. This brings us to the last type of cue points which is the loop cue point. The loop cue is a permanent way to have a loop in the song. Tractor saves it for you and at any time you press the loop cue button, Tractor will jump to that position and activate that loop. If you want to exit the loop, just unselect active. You've been seeing only 8 cue points throughout the video. These 8 cue points are actually only hot cues. Tractor lets you add up to 32 cue points and 8 hot cues. You can add more cue points even after you have exhausted empty slots on your hot cues. Just click on store and Tractor will take care of the rest. You can also rename these cue points and navigate between them using the arrow keys. The beat grid marker is a right triangle. Blue arrow flag is a normal cue. A load cue is a round yellow marker. A loop cue is colored green. And the fade in and out cues are angled orange flags. Thank you for watching today, make sure you subscribe to this channel for our future tutorials and tips and tricks videos.